What's up, dude? Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we have an update, so let's jump into it. So the other day I did a video on Carly Russell. She was the woman that had pulled over because she saw a child crying on like the side of the interstate and she had been abducted then. And then like two days later, she showed up back at her family's home. She was like naked and had been taken to the hospital and said that she was kidnapped. Um, well, a press conference was held and now we have a little bit more information about it. One clarification from the other day's video, I think I did that one on Wednesday. Um, so I had said that after Carly got done at work, she went and picked up some food and that was the only stop she made. She also had stopped at Target, like before she stopped for her food. She stopped at Target and got some toilet paper and like snacks. Um, or no, not toilet paper, just like some snacks. And then she went and picked up her food order. So just a little clarification on that, but I think we're gonna get a lot more information coming out. So I'll probably have to go back quite a bit and clarify things for you guys. But the update, police looked into Carly's cell phone search history right before she had gone missing, like the day of before she had gone missing like that morning. So she had searches such as, you have to pay for an Amber Alert or search, how to take money from a register without being caught, Birmingham bus station, one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville, and then like the movie Taken, information about Amber Alerts on her work computer, and then other searches that police say revealed her mindset that will be released at the moment. Uh, Carly said that once she had gotten out of her car to check on the child, a man with orange hair with like a bald spot in the back walked out of a forest mumbling about checking on the kid and then put her over his shoulder and just like walked off with her. She claimed that he then forced her into a car and the next thing she remembers is being in the trailer of an 18 wheeler. She stated that the male was with a female. However, she never saw the female only hearing her voice. This was from the police chief that did the press interview. Carly claims that she escaped from the truck, but then she was recaptured and put into a car. She was blindfolded, but not bound because the couple didn't want there to be like impressions left on her wrist. She said that she was taken to a house, I believe, where the couple told her to get undressed and she thinks that they took photos of her. She also said that they had fed her cheese and crackers like she was sleeping and they would wake her up and then feed her, which like, okay. Curly says that she doesn't think she was abused in any way and like she slept a lot. Apparently the woman played with her hair and at some point she was put back in a car and that is when she was able to escape and like run off. She told detectives that she ran through lots of woods until she came out near her residence, the police chief said. Detectives noted that Carly had a small injury to her lip. The detectives also noted that she had $107 in cash in her right sock. Remember her search history, how to steal from a register without getting caught. We have asked to interview Carly a second time, but have not been granted that request, the chief said. As you can see, there are many questions left to be answered, but only Carly can provide those answers. Now, I also heard that like she had allegedly stole some items from her office, like that was the toilet paper that I was thinking of. She had stole some toilet paper and there were other things that she took as well that she like showed up with. So people were like, okay, so the kidnappers just like gave you money. Like they gave you $107 to show up back at home with. Like what for your time? Like there's so many questions and now it's beginning to look a little bit more like a setup. Like this didn't actually happen. So if that does prove to be the case that she just claims that she was kidnapped, but then she actually wasn't, she could get arrested and charged for falsely, um, reporting like, or filing a police report. So that's something that you can get time for. I have recently learned, um, cause like there's been a lot of people that fake their own kidnapping and then go do some like sketch stuff and then come back and they're like, Oh my God, <laughs> I was kidnapped. Oh, crazy. And then they find out it's not real and they're like, jail for you, ma'am. So crazy stuff. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, I mean, at first everybody was so concerned about her. They were like, girl, 
where were you for two days? Like, what happened? Are you good? And she was taken to a hospital and treated for, like, her cut lip. And she also said that, like, she had bad headaches and whatnot as well. And so, like, people at first were really concerned for her. But now it's kind of like, hmm. Hmm. Me thinks you did something a little bit on the sketch side. But anyways, that is the Carly Russell update. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I will keep posting updates about this one because this one's really got me curious. Like there's other cases where it's like, yeah, maybe we'll get some more info, but we kind of have a good idea of what happened. This one, it's just like, hmm, it's a little suspicious. We'll see what happens. So I will keep updating on this one. But other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Go outside, touch some grass. I heard that's good for you. Um, don't get into cars with strangers. You know, make sure people know where you're at. Don't do anything sus. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and stay safe. Bye, guys.